How would you like to play a classic season of career mode inside FC24? Maybe you'd want to start in the year 2000 and slowly progress towards the modern day. Well, if you're interested in that, let me show you the career overhaul mod created by Grey Spectre 7. It's one of the most innovative mods I've seen for FC24, and while the entire database isn't set around one specific year, you can play with some of your favourite players from the early 2000s. If you're bored of FIFA, this mod really does change everything. While it is a shame that no one's out there creating past season mods for FIFA, I knew I had to make a video about this mod when I first saw it. Dozens of teams have a selection of their best players from the past 20 years. There's massive legends in the game like Ronaldinho, Messi and Rivaldo all playing for Barcelona. There's also less important players like Nani and Solskjaer who are both at Manchester United. In fact, there's actually 43 teams that have had players added from legendary names to players you might not even remember playing. The mod rebalances the overalls of some of these teams, but not in an unrealistic way. I think we'll all agree that there's some players on Ultimate Team that have maybe too high of an overall compared to their impact in real life, but in this mod, the majority of the players are about the exact ratings they should be. Del Piero suits being an 86, Drogba should always be about an 87, and almost every player that has changed is rated about exactly where I feel they should be. The one downside of this mod is that every single player is 18 years old. I don't know if it's only me, but I do wish this mod was a specific season, maybe something like 2006 or 2011, although obviously that would be way more difficult to actually create. What it does mean though is that you'll have these players for the entire career mode save you play. Even if you play all 15 years, Steven Gerrard will be 33 years old, Ronaldinho will be 33 years old, and even real players that haven't been edited like Gavi will still be 33 year old, and these will all be playing at the same time. Okay, on to the main point of this video, let's have a look at how this actually changes career mode. Not only are there hundreds of new young players in the database, but it will actually totally change you how you play the game. All of a sudden, international management is actually worth doing, and you can use players you've never used in career mode, or even play seasons with players that you used to love playing career mode with back in the past decade. The World Cup is always one of my main targets inside career mode, and with this mod I could combine England's old golden generation with their new one. Lampard, Gerrard and Bellingham could be one of the most insane midfields that I've ever seen on FIFA. If you don't like England, you could combine the best modern Brazilians into one team, meaning you have a front three of Neymar, Ronaldo and Hulk, who are all players from different eras, but it could be a really fun front three to use inside FIFA. When I'm playing my mega career saves, one of the best things about them is looking back and remembering some of the weird transfers that actually happened in real life. Remember that time that Stoke had Peter Crouch and Shakiri up front? Well, both of them are at Stoke in this mod. Do you want to know if Berbatov could have replaced Kane at Spurs? Well, he's at the team alongside Robbie Keane, Jermaine Defoe, Gareth Bale and a ton more Spurs players. It's also a really cool mod if you're younger but have an interest in older football. If you're under 18 years old, you've probably never used Paul Scholes, Ronaldinho or Zinedine Zidane inside career mode before. Well, now you can. I just really love the amount of difference that just adding a few players here and there can bring, and I just wish EA would at least give us the option to add the icons and heroes from Ultimate Team into career mode as an option before we start our career mode saves. There's so many more options out there for cool career mode saves too. Could Heskey, Vardy and Lineker combine to get Leicester promoted? You really need to give something like that a try. At this point in the video, you're probably wondering how to actually use this mod. It's really easy, but unfortunately it is only available on PC. So you can either click the link in the description below or just search FC24 Career Overhaul Mod and you'll find the Nexus Mods page right here. So inside here, you have a list of all the players and which team they're at. If you want to search and find the players that you're looking for and see if they're actually in the mod, you can do that right here. But when you're ready to actually install it, we just press download here and then we have four different versions. We have the custom icons version, and this is basically a bunch of different files. This is the mod file, so you will need FIFA Mod Manager to actually import this. It adds a bunch of players who aren't icons inside Ultimate Team, like Patrice Ever, John Terry, Eidegger Johnson, and Dwight York as created players. So that's the one that I've been using throughout this video. We also have the men's team overhaul, which is the main thing, the main part of the mod as well. This is just a squad file that adds the right players in the right places. So this will, if you don't have this one, you won't have Fernando Torres being at Liverpool, things like that. The old icons overhaul is another different one that I didn't use. And um, this adds players who retired before the year 2000. So you'll get people like Bobby Moore, um, Yashin right here, Gary Lineker. They won't be in the game unless you add this one. And then there's also the women's team overhaul, which will add all five women's leagues into career mode. 
All this does is move the men's teams into rest of the world and replace rest of the world with women's teams, which you then can move around into the right leagues that you want to use. So I'm going to download custom icons and the men's team overhaul. So when they're downloaded, you will get two zip files right here. You'll have a squads file. This is the men's team overhaul. You just put this in the documents folder and you can import it inside the game. And then, and then you have the FIFA mod, which you just need to drag into right here into the FIFA mod manager. It will import and everything will be good. You just press apply mods, launch the game and you will have a working FIFA mod. Once we're inside FIFA, again, it's super easy to do. Just go in profile, load squads, and then you'll see the two squad files that we've just downloaded right here. Men's team overhaul and created icons. So we're just gonna press created icons, and then all of the players should be at the right teams. If we just have a look here, you can see Alan Shearer is at Newcastle. You've got Beckham, Casemiro, Ronaldo, and Giggs at Man United. There's so many different things, and that's exactly how you do it. So I told you it was going to be easy to install and that's how fast you can do it. I think that this mod is definitely worth giving a go because it's totally free and you can tell there's a nice amount of effort that's gone into making it. I did actually play career mode for a while while getting some clips for this video and everything worked really well. I had some fun signing Wilshere and Iniesta for Liverpool even though I already had Gerard, Chabi Alonso, Alexis McAllister and Dominic Soboslai. If you want to know a little bit more about the mod, check out the description because I've posted every single team and all the changes that have been made in this mod and also a link if you want to download it. I guess in conclusion, the career overhaul mod really does give you a bit of a breath of fresh air into the FIFA career mode experience. Just being able to have players from two decades of football history and creating your own ultimate team inside career mode with legends of the past is in my opinion a total game changer. Despite the fact that every player starts at the same age, the mod's actually quite realistic when it comes to rebalancing the team overalls and it will result in a nice balanced career mode without overpowered icons totally ruining the league table and Everton somehow going on to be champions. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to like or subscribe and check out the video in the playlist on the screen. I've just done a series where I play one season on 10 different FIFA games, so I recommend you click on that one. But thanks for watching, cheers and goodbye.